Hello world, today I'll tell you all types of connection which we had in Pratchell Detention Center with the free world. And to tell the truth, you can't even imagine uh, how valuable letters, postcards and photos are. Any information from free people, it's like a breath of fresh air. Thank you, I have to thank you uh, very much and respect and regards to my mother and my friends. A huge uh, thanks to all of you. I really love you. I can't, can't tell you how much you have supported me in this imprisonment. All the information from you, pictures and just warm words uh, in postcards incredibly supported me, enabled me to keep my mind free in this uh, bird cage full of gossip and some meaningless uh, inner life thank you to you i understood that by because of you i understood that life behind bars is beating and that you all waiting for me and love me uh, that life is not over uh, at this prison term thank you very much and uh, bow how bow down <laughs> so uh, in addition to regular letters I have so many of them, uh, like uh, really, really lots of simple letters. Just I'll show you one. That's from my mom. Uh, here is uh, her address. And here is my address in uh, Pretzel Detention Center. You can put there wherever you want letters and uh, postcards, uh, like photos. I have uh, my friend and I with dreadlocks <laughs> had a good time. And uh, that's my friends too. We get into the party in St. Petersburg, me in the middle. So, in addition to regular letters, you can send an electronic letter uh, in the detention center with the possibility of a response from the prisoner. Uh, this is how it works. I receive a printed text, photos with sender's name. Uh, here it is. Uh, here is my friend and me. We are going snowboarding. And one more, um, here is my godson, so th this is the number of letter, to whom and uh, from whom uh, this letter is. Uh, you see here is a lot of text, then uh, he uh, paid for two uh, letters because there are a lot of text and if you want to add photos you have to pay, if you want to receive uh, answer from me you have to pay for everything you have to pay and um, I write a reply uh, they give me this letter and a blank where I write the reply at first uh, first of all uh, all letters uh, which uh, were coming to me and which were uh, sending uh, they were reviewed by censor and if there is anything forbidden in them uh, to tell the truth, I still don't know what is forbidden for them. I think it depends on their mood because sometimes just, uh, for example, one bad word were crossed out. Uh, crossed out. And it, it's the better way that they crossed out. Uh, either the letter doesn't reach the address of the, me. And the best way that the sensor didn't like some words, words or phrases and uh, he or she crossed out, so it would be impossible to read it. And uh, I get uh, these uh, letters, uh, for example, there were some history and sensor did like some history about, um, my friend told me, remind me uh, about our good times, parties, and censor didn't like something, so she crossed out uh, like <laughs> half of the letter and I couldn't read that, she missed me and everything, okay, okay, that's the main idea, okay, I understood. And all these letters, electronic one, uh, is the fastest way to communicate uh, uh, besides the phones. The phones, um, there are two types of phones, uh, a stationary phone, this stationary phone uh, from, I think, 60s, you know, this old one, which is held on uh, the wall, and uh, 
to code on stationary phone, uh, you have to uh, get an application uh, and the, this application made to the judge or investigator, uh, depending on the stage of the case, with the full name, family relationship and phone number. The judge or investigator, for unknown reason, either grants or rejects uh, the request. Uh, I was sitting in Pretzel Detention Center for one year and I hadn't got the permission for whole one year. And if permission is granted, a phone card must be purchased. It becomes a, a vicious circle uh, when someone is allowed to call, but no one there on the outside, on the freedom, uh, has bought them a card. Uh, because uh, people from the freedom, they just don't know where the person is. And in our cell, uh, we ordered cards uh, through other prisoners. And uh, they could make calls two, three times a month for uh, 15 minutes each call. And it's a huge morale. Can you imagine you waiting uh, for this permission? And it's, it takes a long time, like months. It's, uh, it's cool if months, but in fact, like uh, six months, uh, you're waiting for... Uh, this permission and when you get this permission you have no money and no card and you can't call but in uh, our cell uh, we bought cards uh, for other people and uh, now you might think that we try to support each other in the cell by ordering these cards for those who couldn't afford them unfortunately uh, that wasn't the case it was done only to avoid the administration's attention uh, that there, there are a mobile phone in the cells. Uh, that is, if prisoners who have permission to call from a fixed phone don't go out to make calls, then it means that uh, we communicate with the freedom on the mobile phones. And if there are mobile phones, then um, the administration of this institution need to arrange a search of the cell. Later, I understood that it was a big, a huge show uh, because the administration themselves uh, brought these mobile phones into the cells. Uh, when there were more than five cells, um, I, mean, I mean mobile phones, it became possible to call everyone without exception uh, but the majority rule of our cell was to use the stationary phone uh, for calls. Uh, mobile phones, uh, another world we used sleeper, in Russian it's uh, tapok, and noise, shum. So, except of this word mobile phone, we use this too. And when I was transferred to the cell, where there were no mobile phones at all. And the first phone was brought in through the feeding hall. Uh, feeding hall, it's a window in the kitchen uh, through which um, administration with Hosky uh, delivered food for us. Yes, during lunch, they brought a phone through this window and some of the inmates uh, realized that the phone had come in, which soon led a revolt inside the cell because there was no way to call everyone without exception. Uh, can you imagine one cell, uh, one mobile phone for 60 people in a hen house? Then it's possible uh, to call everyone during the night uh, because phones were only used after bedtime. And uh, on the photo, uh, you can see a certain hand gap and it's a sure sign that someone is using a phone there uh, because uh, on the brakes, brakes if you remember, this is the door uh, to the cell, there is a hole uh, from which administration can uh, watch what you're doing in the cell. And if you have this uh, cur curtain, uh, it uh, like for some times will stop them to come to uh, the cell and you can hide this uh, phone. In the next article, I will describe in detail how other banned items were brought in and 
where they could be purchased. Hope to see you soon. Subscribe to my channel. Bye.